it's just um, an ideal situation for myself. It's changed my life. It's freed me of worries. It's wonderful to know that we have the financial freedom to just enjoy our lives here. To get your free video with absolutely no obligation, call us toll-free at 1-800-581-0952. That's 1-800-581-0952. When you call, you'll be greeted by a real live person, not an automated system. It's just another example of how we provide the personal touch. So call today and get the facts you need to make an educated decision about an opportunity that can truly change your life. Gizmo Girl is brought to you by the new T-Mobile Sidekick 2 with IM, email, web browsing, and more. Everybody needs a sidekick. T-Mobile. All right, the 2005 Consumer Electronics Show kicked off Thursday in Las Vegas, Party Town. It's a virtual who's who in the tech world. Bill Gates was there. And when you think party, you think Bill Gates, don't oh, you? Oh, well, I do. Anyhow, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've invited him to every party I've ever thrown. He just hasn't shown up. It is really a cool place to go, especially yeah. for guys. You know, I mean, I know you're into it. I'm into it. You throw a TV, a, a weird-looking TV, into, a, into a, an electronic show, and I'm going to go. I just You, you could have stopped the on. TV. And then the gambling isn't bad either. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thea Andrews is actually on special assignment. Tough duty for her. Yeah. She caught up with uh, our Gizmo Girl, Jamie Sorcher, to check out the hottest tech toys. Here's this week's edition of Gizmo Girl. Here at the Consumer Electronics Show, there are over 10,000 new products on display. So we sent out our Gizmo Girl to find the coolest and most innovative new stuff coming out in 2005. What did you bring back for us, Jamie? Well, Thea, it wasn't easy to find the gadgets that we did here today because there are obviously so many. We were combing the aisles, but I have some portable gadgets that I think any sports fan would enjoy. All right, let's start over here. What's this thing? Okay, this is the Kodak Easy Share Printer Dock Plus. Now, what we could do is put a digital camera on here and do a print in 60 seconds, but because cell phone cameras are becoming two and three and four megapixel cameras, they're like any other digital camera. You can make a great print. So what we're going to do is print wirelessly from a cell phone. Wow. I'm going to ask Sundance D. Giovanni, our Come gaming contributor, here, to come Sundance. on in. Okay. He's going to take a picture of us, of us? and then we will All print right. it right here Smile, from our geez. cell phone. All right. Okay. And he's just going to send that right to he's the printer? He's going to send that via Bluetooth technology right to this printer because this is wirelessly enabled and we will see the print. And while we're waiting for that, we'll go on to our next. So you gadget. can be out mm -hmm. at an event, you send it back to home and it'll print. And when you get home, the prints well, are there? Well, this Bluetooth works within a certain range. So okay. you, would, you would send it, you know, within a certain range. All right, neat. Okay, so we'll let that start to print. And, okay. and what do we have here? Okay, now we have the Delphi. XM to go. This is the MiFi mm -hmm. portable satellite radio. Satellite radio isn't new, but the fact that they have boiled this down into a device that you can see is is easy to take with you to the beach or to the gym mm -hmm. as a Walkman or an iPod. It's digital satellite radio. Oh wow! And, and it even has the clip on the back, so it, has it the can clip on the back. You can run with this thing. They've boiled the antenna and everything down into a seven-ounce gadget. 130 channels, so it's entertainment on the go. Everything you need right in there. How much is this? That's $350. 300. And the subscription to XM each month is $10. And I didn't. I forgot to ask you how much is the printer? $199. $199, okay. And that also portable, very easy to take with you on the go. This I've seen before. Tell us about this. Okay. This is the coolest thing. This is the Motorola Razor phone, the V3. And I mean, check this out. This is it slim is so and light. Trim. It's Bluetooth enabled, so again, you know, you can transmit wirelessly. It has a digital camera, mm -hmm. and of course, you can see it's a world phone, mm -hmm. a touch panel that is uh, reacts at a touch of a. This finger. looks so high tech. This is so. This I mean, is the you, you feel, this is the right beam now. me up Scotty phone. Now, a, a couple of my guy friends actually already have this phone. This is the ultimate guy gadget. But, it is. But you know, when it comes out, they always want the newest thing. But but with stuff like this, it's hot, new on the market. Is it better to wait a little while? I mean, well, isn't it sort of half question. off if you wait? And the thing with a lot of these gadgets, everybody, the early adopters always want everything first. And so you pay for that. You pay the full price. But mm -hmm. a lot of things that were introduced last year at CES, you know, as the year goes on, by the end of the year, they can end up 40% off. How much is it now? It's $499 now. And, you know, as the year goes on, prices ultimately do drop. We'll see the price drop. Okay, so what's this thing? Okay, now we have the Olympus M Robe, MR500. Mm -hmm. And a big trend right now are these hard drives where you can take your music and your images with you on the go. Mm -hmm. So this has a 20 gigabyte hard drive. So that's 5,000 songs you can take with you. 5,000 songs? 5,000 songs. Wow. You can also, it's also a digital camera, and then you can store images on here as well. And it's so little. It's very little. Look, it's very look sleek. How small it is. 
Wow. Isn't that great? A touch screen, a 3.7 inch touch screen. That's so, amazing. Very attractive. Now that isn't out yet. That will be out in the first quarter of the year and it'll be about $500. That is so reasonable for all it's those things. It's very reasonable. And again, it's entertainment on the go. Okay. And finally, okay, we have a little the, golf going on here. Yes, I'm sure Jay will enjoy this. Any golfer. This is the uh, golf uh, launch pad. And this is basically allowing you to have the ultimate golf experience like you're out on the links, but when you're playing your computer golf game. Instead of using a mouse, you're actually using a golf club. And we have Sean here to demonstrate for us what this go. is all about. Excellent. So all right, go for it, we're, Sean. We're Let's at see Pebble your best Beach, hole number there. one. Is that what they call it, slice? You will actually hear the thwack of the club as if you're actually playing a real game. And now, tell wow. us about the optical sensors that are in the turf. The optical sensors grab the information from your swing, club face angle, path, and speed, and relay the information to the USB port of your computer and puts you right in the middle of the game. So now you've got your own golf simulator right there in your living room. Golf anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, anytime. And now, let's go back to you and take a look at our picture. Oh, look at us. Come out. Oh. I love it. That's great. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Okay. Wait a minute, we're, we didn't get to see the picture. Of, well, you know, you, you saw them <laughs> From standing there for four minutes. Well, I wanted to look at the quality. I am absolutely, we've had hundreds of gadgets on the air since we uh, started this program about a year and a half ago. Of all of them, the golf simulator there, Dude, that's the coolest. I want I just, that. We have to have that in the green room. That's an amazing, and I guess it's really Pebble Beach. It's really the course. Unbelievable. Yeah. Nice. And it's, it's amazing with this technology. She, they had a gadget there. 5,000 songs fit in this little itty-bitty thing. <laughs> you know, know, if you had 5,000 songs on CDs, it would stack I up taller than we are. I don't like 5,000 songs. So what what's the need? I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool, though. It really is. Thanks a lot to uh, Jamie and Thea. Now, all week long, we've been talking about five fresh faces who will make news in 05. We've given you four to watch so far. Now let's go over to Kit to meet number five. Thanks, guys. Fordham University.